Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the second half of this episode um, with, with the uh, <laughs> yeah the gnomes and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, let, we don't need to do the intro because we did that last time. Let's get straight back into it. Okay, so so Elliot, you are um, you were you were offered a uh, a we'll call it a a. Temp, a, a, a We'll call it just a room of contemplation, right? So the temple has all of these locations where you can kind of go. <clears throat> it's in the temple itself, so you're very focused on what it is that, that you desire, what it is that you want. Um, and you go to these rooms, and there is nothing more than a simple um, metal desk with several um, inornate chairs, and this is just an area it's it's near sound tight right and it's just an area it's a i don't want to call it like a, a, a <clears throat> what is it like a where you a deprivation chamber it's not that far but it's made so that you can you can sit in silence or or talk amongst you and two or three or four other companions and reach out to the entity that is the chief engineer and hopefully receive guidance and or answers and or direction in what it is that you're looking for. But you do understand that in order to have the greatest possible success, um, that you do have to be rather specific. You can't use things like, where should I go from here? Or what is the answer to, you know, to the great question of whatever it may be, right? You have to be, you have to, you 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 must you must give the chief engineer if you want the best possible chance for success. You must give the chief engineer the best possible chance of success at answering your question. In his, in his, in in a very uh, in a, in a manner that's very brief, if if that makes sense. Yeah, it's not going to be a situation where you're going to have a great conversation over minutes or even hours, right? And the other three are more than welcome to go with you as well. I mean, this is not something that's done, you know, known by themselves. There are, there, there are cases of, of, of you know, human intelligent, intelligentsia, um, you know, dwarven, you know, going in to, to, to seek these same answers, but using the gnome as the conduit for the question, if you will. I'm there are no completely. cases of human intelligence. Yeah, I'm out completely. There's no oh, there he goes already, right? The, the, <laughs> now, all of a sudden, Elliot's really leaning into the superiority of the gnome and peoples. <laughs> My eyes have been opened. <laughs> oh, God. Or closed, depending on point of view. Open but blinkered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we proceed. Um, I say to the others that I I will go alone, and I proceed to the room. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you don't want to take the others with you? Not really. No. <laughs> no. No. No offense. Wow. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like it's quite a personal thing. I need to be alone and have sort of some space and like no distractions to try and you know, obtain the best connection I can. Okay. I'm good. Fair enough. So, so you enter this room, right? Um, and again, it's very, very Spartan. It's very plain. Um, there's a large, again, another, not, not as big as the one outside, maybe a foot across, but a platinum cog on the wall, almost like a, 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 a an item of focus, if you will. So I, I go and I I sit down at one of the in one of the chairs one of the nondescript chairs and I take my my own cog sort of out from under my robes and I sort of hold hold it up just in front of me and I you know, I close my eyes you know, I settle back into the chair and I and I speak to the chief engineer I speak to him and ask him um, for aid chief engineer I desire knowledge. I implore you to aid us. We are faced with an optimization problem. The system is of very high order, and the variables to be obtained have yet eluded me. Although chaotic, I believe that the initial conditions of the system can be obtained, and from that, a solution to the problem. 
Those initial conditions derive from those who created you. Can you provide me with a full description of your initial state and the states of those who created you? Okay, give me a so give me a religion check with advantage, and you're gonna add two to it. With advantage. With advantage, yes, because you're still under the the influence of the uh, of Steelbury Kush. Oh my my dice disappeared. I can't see them. Yeah, for said the dice aren't rolling right now. Remember, I told you that the thing, but you can see the result there. I, the I, I, I can't see the result. I <laughs> saw the dice and the result. Yep, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Oh, I did. I didn't even see the dice. So it's yeah, yeah it's 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 kind of flipping back and forth. So Elliot, in, in your chat thing, you don't see that you rolled a sixteen. No. Wow, that's weird. Okay, so yeah, so it's really doing some funky stuff. So anyway, you rolled a sixteen, Elliot. Sixteen out of a, you know, obviously you can roll above a twenty, but you know, zero, one to twenty is your is your is your is your range. Um, and as you, as you beseech your request, um, you, you, you close your eyes, but then you are, you're prodded into opening them, right? you you have this feeling that you, you should be, you should be asking this question with open eyes, with open ears, with an open heart, like, um, not a heart, but a, um, soul, if you will, because you're seeking knowledge. You're not trying to bow down before something, right? Um, you're, you're not, um, you're not, uh, you're not, you're not on bended knee, right? That's the idea behind the desk and in your, in your head, in fact, deep, deep within your mind, right? You hear a soft whisper, a very soft whisper. And it just simply says, of which creator do you reference? And I reply, Night Demon. The Night Demon is not an input. Hmm. Can you provide me with a list of valid inputs? You see, okay, so an image appears within the back of your skull again. And it is an image of an individual. So this is this is the tough part about, about this, right? It's not supposed to be a human. I don't want you to get the impression that this is a human, all right, Elliot? But I'm going to describe this in terms that, that is going to make it sound rather human-like. Um, you see an individual who's, who's you know, roughly 6'2", six, 6'3", six, jacked all to hell, has bronze armor across his chest and a single breastplate, long flowing silver hair that is that is simply moving across, and a very uh, very soft. I don't want to say it's inquisitive, but it's it's in it's in very contemplative thought. The individual. Who who is? Uh, who, who is that that you've friends me with? Say again. Who is that? Are you asking me out of character? Or are you asking in? No, I'm asking in character. So there's no response. Hmm. There's I... no response there. Um, it's you don't know who this is to begin with, right? You don't know what relationship they have. But you can feel, you can feel that there is now a connection between that individual and gnomish uh, um, history, if you will. I suspect that they're an old god, but you know, I don't know anything more about them than that. Oh, they're definitely okay. So, okay, that's a good question. There we go. So, yes, um, it's of uh, the same type of an individual that you 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 get you get. Um, similarities we'll say between night demon and this individual but this individual doesn't look as as um in nowhere in no means does it look as primal it's still ancient right the the it, it doesn't it doesn't bear you know bright shimmering armor it's still very primal but it 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 seems more grounded 
you know, if you if you had to give a, a, a vision for Locke, right? It's, it's like when you used to watch Star Trek, right? You saw Spock and you immediately got the, the image of logic. It's the same feeling. I never watched your... Star Trek. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah and you, I'm sorry if I give you spoilers, Dato, for something in the 70s and 60s. So I apologize. I attach another question to the great collective field. Uh, how can we contact this individual? Did your hat fall backwards? That's in character. <laughs> That's in character. <laughs> <laughs> so he has, his hat's blown off as, as he's revealed. <laughs> Yeah, okay, how can we wow, how do we contact? Okay, so that's you wouldn't receive an answer from that. That's too broad, Elliot. Can you give me that number? <laughs> yeah, that's that's way too broad a question. Uh for um hmm. This is the being that created you. This is the primary input. The machine, Elliot, continues its work, regardless of the primary input. But this is the primary input. Your input. What's the primary output? <laughs> Slightly off topic, but you know, while we're here. <laughs> You would know, Elliot, that, that the primary output, you wouldn't even have to ask that question now. The, the, the primary output is the gnomish peoples, right? Okay, okay. well, okay. Uh, um, yeah, 42. 42. Yeah, I know, right? That's, that's what I'm trying not to go with this again. There's no... Uh, are there, you know, what are the tertiary inputs? What can you tell me of those? Now we're approaching language that I don't understand. Yeah. So, um, so you see, you reach out for while you're while you're asking, right? You're you're also feeling for an answer, right? Because you not only are you questioning Ellie, but you've got this vision in your head, right? Of if there is an input, then what else went into that same, mm -hmm. you know, uh, whatever the the um, the aspect of input was, whether it's a slot, whether it's a, you know what I mean. Um, and you get visions of nothing else. I begin to wish that I had brought some humans and a goblin with me. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, Elliot, you know, you know that you can, this is not something that's like a finite thing. You can stand up, go again, because yeah. if any, let's just say there were four individuals in the room who were all of gnome, right? And they're all trying to get the answer to whatever this great mathematics equation is. They would have discussions amongst themselves for an hour, a couple hours, find new questions, and then reconvene, if you will. This isn't a... Well, I guess then at that point, I exit the room and you know, I go over to the others and I say to them, you know, I, I convened with the chief engineer. He was not created by Night Demon, but by what I assume is another old god. I'm, you know, struggling to get any more information out of him than that. But perhaps if we could contact this other old god or some other old god, you know, they could, you know, help us with our Night Demon problem. I mean, how how long do you think that's going to take? Like, we, we've got two days. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've got nothing, right? But this is all we have, right? Like, that seems pretty dangerous, don't you think? We're trying to contact old gods, like we're trying to recreate this barrier to like protect, you know, the the known world from. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe from... I should ask the chief engineer uh, why contact with this old god was that was ceased. Maybe maybe he knows that. Mm -hmm. And the barrier. See if he knows how to get the barrier back up. Yeah. The barrier. Do you want to bring them into the room with you as well, or do you, are you just going to go back in by yourself? No, I'm still going to go back in by myself, I think. <laughs> Scumbag. <laughs> there's okay, there's so lovely you... food vans around. You can you go and get yourself some tea. <laughs> We're not as lucky as you, Elliot, the gnome. <laughs> we, we have to scavenge for our food. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. well, We're nice not serving food <laughs> infinitely wherever we go. <laughs> Alright, so I, I re-enter the room and I, you know, I sit back down. I take out the, uh, you know, the, the cogwheel again and I say, you know, I, I let myself, um, you know, become part of the the EM field and I say, uh, you know, um, you know what precipitated the discontinuation of contact between yourself and the primary input at that point you get a you get a vision in your head of a what must be the great font right and you see the electromagnetic field emanating out of its base Very great font. right so the, the the font that you see is a is a is a giant circular a pedestal or you know, urn it's got a giant opening at the top right and you see things entering the top in one color uh, like a bluish um silverish i don't want to call it like lightning but lightning in color like that type of like light with with the blue going around and as it passes through this font at the bottom there are several discharge areas where the EM current, as you understand it, is emanating from it. And this current is, is, is expanding out vastly in, your, in, this, in this mental image of yours, right? But then the input ceases. And the, the font, the current emanates from the font, ceases to emanate from the font, but then still kind of backfills the area around the font you know, about a third up the font. And, and it, it almost looks like there's this, this large fog layer that's emanating about, you know, a foot um, deep, if you will, from top to bottom. And it emanates out as far as you can see in all directions. Interesting. So I start to think, I'm used to myself, there's something wrong with the electromagnetic field. Yeah, and, and perhaps perhaps it was this field which initially, um, you know, brought a cease to contact between the old gods and our realm. Yeah, and uh, maybe a few days ago or a few weeks ago, I would have been very surprised to hear this and for it not to be public news. But I'm now aware that the the gnome, you know, religious hierarchy does does very much keep things to themselves. So perhaps the next visit is to the temple of the great font, and I I head outside to the others. So give me um, give me a religion check again with advantage, Elliot. Okay, so you would actually somewhat piece this together that this is not necessarily that the EM field is has been ceased to be filled this is the em field now in its quote unquote gnomish perfection so it's almost as if a machine has reached perfect power and is now able to power itself not that it's still reaching for fuel and it can't get that fuel does that make sense no <laughs> no, very little. Okay, so the question that you had asked was that for some reason there's nothing filling the font anymore. As yeah, opposed yeah. to the font had done its job and created the EM field, and now that is what you draw upon. Oh, so this, this vision I had, of, it's not a thing that's currently happening, it's something that happened. No, because you asked what caused the separation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair. Okay. So, hmm. so, so, yeah. So, I, I feel like we should still. I mean, if that caused the separation, then the fact that they're back means that there's something, something's gone wrong there. Something's changed. Uh, okay, okay. I'll ask another question. You know, and what, what currently, what, what, what currently prevents you know, the primary input from interacting with our, our, our world. That's a little bit too broad, Elliot. You don't have to finite that down for me. Mm. 
Uh, I understand what you're kind of asking, but I also don't want to just hmm. uh, because yeah. there could there could be a myriad of reasons, right? Like literally a myriad of reasons. And and the question is, it, from a scientific point of view, the question isn't you know why is that green? It's there's a whole slew of things that result in the sun's rays creating the color green on a leaf, right? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, it. it, it mm. Are the conditions that uh, precipitated loss of contact between the primary input uh, and our world still uh, in effect? Okay, so yeah, so you sense that the font no longer needs a source. So uh, I shouldn't say a source, an input. Okay, I leave the room. It's time for a sidebar. So I, I go over to, you know, Daka and Dimitriov and Florizov. I said, whoa, yo, I, I, we're getting some inspiration here, but I'm confused as heck. And I, and I you know, relay the story of the font, you know, the questions I asked, what the state of play is. And I, and I say to them, you know, I, I don't quite understand what's going in on here. There was some kind of input to the font that creates the EM field and that prevented the, 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 the old ones from passing to our realm. But now it's, now that input is no longer required and now they can pass through. What do you guys think? I think you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I have not. I, I'm sorry. I saw it drift in and out. Wow. <laughs> okay. I go back in the room and this time I beckon the others to come with me. Oh, okay. I don't, I'm not sure that's going to help. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm intelligence eight, so I can't help. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow you into the room. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait outside with that. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, I pick my cog back up and I sit Daedal, Flargle, Snark down next to me on a chair. You know, I place my hand upon his shoulder. <laughs> and I, uh, and I, and I say, you know, I, I have returned, um, what to say. Uh, uh, you ask him a question, Flargle, Snark. <laughs> Who am I interacting with? Here? <laughs> you would be interacting with Elliot, and Elliot would be the the conduit too, as far as he understands. No, yeah, yeah but no, I'm asking no... Elliot, like, who am I uh, interacting with? The deity of the gnomish peoples, the, the uh, being that oversees life on this world. Um, you know, the the uh, the the, the chief Ask him. Me, ask him if he's connected to the dragons or what he knows about the dragons. What do you know? Mm, um, mm, do what, what do you know about dragons, Chief Engineer? Okay, right. that's really broad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. quite broad. It's quite broad. It, uh, like, where, if where he's connected he... to the dragons, like, what, did he come here at the same time as the dragons? Where, where were the dragons created? When did they In relation created? to when the gnomes were created, were they created before or after the gnomes or at the same time by the same people? Okay, so, Elliot, you would reach back to just, like, the gnomish histories and how you were created, right? And you know of the great EM field, and you know of the gnomes' interaction with that EM field, that it's, it's quite literally what powers gnomish logic and gnomish um, intelligentsia, right? That it is the, the conduit that allows you to, to make great leaps forward in whatever it is that you are are trying to do but you're reaching back into how the gnomes were created right the the first gnomes were created specifically to your knowledge by the um by the chief engineer however you receive another vision of this individual standing over the font again after the em field is complete right and they're inputting something completely different and it's emanating from the center of their chest 
it's it's not white with blue any longer now it's a it's a haze of different colors at random times there's no pattern there's blues and greens and reds some white still some dark grays right and out of the bottom of this font below the 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 haze and the shadow if if you will of the em field are what you would describe as spirits and those but those spirits look like small cogs right and by spirits i mean like you, you know the movies where you always see like the spirit of a human that kind of like floats up and it's like this little this little uh, beam or uh, this little point of light that kind of emanates out right it's the same kind of thing except it's almost in the shape you can see you know these these little cog looking things and you would you would discern that that is the chief engineer trying to communicate to you that you were not cogs when you came from the font but that that's what you most closely identify with you he's trying to send you the image that after this em field was created then the gnomish peoples came it's very useful information um <laughs> no. Well, this this goes, Elliot. This goes way past. Again, you were always taught that you were created by the chief engineer. Mm. Who created the chief engineer? Well, that's the primary input, right? And what's that's yeah. the primary input? Yes. And when? So what's, then you're, you're, who and what is the primary input? The big lad with the hair. Yeah, it's on the Those stream guys. now. On the stream now. Yep. <laughs> And he, how is he create? How is he connected to Night Demon? Well, they're both old gods. And how are they connected to the dragons? Well, I don't know. I mean, where why... is where is the primary input? Like, what what, what does he want? Well, I don't know. I mean, we, we've not had any impact input with a prime interaction with a primary input, right? Like, I mean, maybe if we could contact him, like, we could ask for help. I don't know, but I don't know how to contact him or how to ask the chief engineer to tell us how to contact him. And I don't understand what's going on with the font at all. <laughs> Honestly, Elliot? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's, it's, I keep out of character, Elliot. But... <laughs> it's funny because chat's got it all figured out. So, so out, of, out of character, Elliot, you've seen what you believe to be the great font, right? It's just uh -huh. obvious as to what it is. And the font is where the EM field emanates from. Okay. Though you believed that the EM field emanated from the top of the font, right? Like a waterfall or like a, a, a whatever, right? Coming out of the font. Like the font was just where it started. The font's not in these, in these visions. The font is not where it started. It came from this individual standing behind the font. And the font was actually the conduit. All right. So the, the, the individual behind it fed into the font. Something occurred within this font, right? Whether that font itself is a machine or a conduit or a transformer of some kind, thinking electricity transformer, right? And then out of the bottom of the font came this EM field that surrounded everything that you can see from far and wide. Right. Right. And then once it got to about a foot thick in relation to the font, and the font would be approximately three feet in thickness or height, the, 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 what was emanating from the individual behind the font ceased. And it all coalesced in one, one foot thick, approximately from your, from your, um, your estimation, EM field. Right? So it, that portion of the work was done. Then the, the individual inputted other whatever, right? Other energy, other life force, other different whatever that stuff. is. And from there came what you believe to be his, the, the representation from the chief engineer of the gnomish peoples then coming from the bottom of the font, below the EM field, and okay. spreading out far and wide. Does that make more sense? No. No. I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand what the implications are. 
I don't I even guess. understand what you're saying. Okay, so the yeah, I'm not paying attention up. anymore. So, so I'm the trying to, but it's like it's so difficult to follow. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so the implication, Elliot, for the long and the short of it for y'all is the chief engineer did not create you. Okay. The chief engineer did not create the EM field. Yeah, yeah. And the what you seem to this, be an this, old this, god because it it, yeah. it resembles a similar size, similar height, similar. Right, there's similarities there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what actually fed into the font to create you in the EM field. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that that I'm okay with. But I want to talk to him, or you know, I want to, you know, uh, I I don't know, I don't know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's yeah, you know, I'm getting very het up here. As you know, I'm 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 struggling to interact with the chief engineer. I'm I'm being very very focused now for a long time, and you know, I'm you know snapping slightly just just through the sort of the the intenseness of you know you know how I'm how I'm driven to 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 try and you know solve this problem. So you have you have yet to really ask any questions regarding your problem, Elliot. What you had asked was who created. But that's the problem, right? The, the problem is, you know, Night Demon. So is that what you see as the problem? What? what so yes. let me ask you this, Elliot. He's a dick. What does Elliot see <laughs> as the problem? What is being? What are you trying to solve? Well, I, I, I does the, the problem is that there is no problem. Like the the problem, like so, or let, let's say the problem is that the the, the problem that was set is, is not a problem. You know, choose one of three. It's not a problem. It's not something that has a solution. You know, it's that's nonsensical. So yeah. what I really want is some way to get around this, some way to deal with night demon. Why, why don't you? Why, why don't you ask him which one of the three we should pick? Because that's not a problem. Yeah, I agree. What's well, the problem so for two of them? <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of the things that, that's toughest about this is that is one of the toughest things that, that there is Elliot is that I part of my struggle as a DM is trying to figure out what it is you're trying to solve as well yeah yeah I'm looking for some trickery or some information we can use about night demon to 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 to, 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 to re-implement this barrier uh, or uh, sorry to, 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 <laughs> you to wow dude okay so after th this image continues in your head elliot right of of the the spirits emanating from the font okay and then you see at the end of that, you see the, the emanation ceases and then a final emanation begins. And it is a pure golden light that emanates from, from the, the mid, mid forehead of this individual into the font again. And below that comes a massive, massive platinum clouded cog. And this cog descends, right? And the cog starts to slowly spin in a clockwards, clock, I'm sorry, clockwise pattern, right? Or, or movement, I should say. And slowly, every other cog that, that emanated from this takes its place either directly against that main cog or in a dance of cogs out from that main cog. And as the main cog is spinning, the other cogs begin their spinning and the other cogs begin their spinning and the other cogs begin their spinning. Hmm, right. So what is this central... Oh, that's the chief engineer. You you, you discern that has to be the... Either it's the chief engineer well, or something only, greater only than just, him. I only just no got evidence. that. I'm sorry, say again? I said I only just got that, like, right, right at the end. <laughs> oh. I'm trying here, Elliot. It's, it's tough, trying, man. man. It's tough. Like, I feel like I would have like, taken an exam or something. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then when that ceases, I'm sorry, when that begins and is moving, and it's beautiful, right? It's this beautiful dance of cogs that just continues. It's, it's, it seems like it's it's impossibly perfect as far as, like, that one giant main cog in the middle can cause cogs 
you know, 350 rotations down the road to spin perfectly themselves. And those cogs spin faster because as you know, the large cog to the small cog causes a much faster spin. And then that individual behind that, that, that eminence from its, from its forehead ceases and it looks down upon it, smiles softly and gives a soft nod and then takes a step or two back, crosses its arms and just simply observes. Ants. <laughs> I mean, it's clearly another one of night demons is, uh, you know, ilk, isn't it? Uh, oh. Not, not the same. This is, this isn't like. This is more of, of instead of study, it's more of it's contemplation, right? It's, I don't, I don't want to give you, I don't want to tell you that it's learning from the cogs, but you can see that it's, it's gathering, it's taking in something, right? It's, it's observing, calculating, watching. It's almost like it's an experiment. An ant experiment. <laughs> oh, here we go again. It's all ants all what the way down. Here's a question. What happened first? A dance of cogs or a dance of dragons? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Definitely a dance of cogs. Sorry, I had to say that. So I'm I'm overwhelmed. You know, this is more information than I thought I could could get for this conversation. But I'm I'm still concerned that I'm no closer to you know dealing with night demon or or, or solving this problem. Um. Yeah, you know, I, I asked the chief engineer directly. How how can how can we reactivate this barrier? So he doesn't quite understand that because are are you referencing that that plus or minus one foot buffer, the EM field? Uh, I I don't know. I I what whatever it, it I mean I I don't even know if that's still responsible for. For, for why the, the old gods couldn't, you know, why the contact ceased between the old gods and the new gods. Okay, so his, asked... you, you get the impression from 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 the feelings that 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 EM field is perfection. That the cogs may not be, but that that MP, EMP field is perfection. I'm sorry, that MP field is perfection. What does MP stand for? E EM, right? I'm sorry, EM. Thank you. I apologize. Yeah, just EMP. <laughs> Electro <laughs> electromagnetic, Elliot. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is how this is how the gnomish peoples draw their power from, in essence. And is that also the barrier then? Well, that's, yeah, that's what we. I, I, no. I thought. No. no so the minute Elliot thinks that, it's it's struck down instantly. But if we okay. if we like disrupt like so something disrupt the barrier, and if we fix the barrier. Is Night Demon not going to be stuck on this side of the barrier? Well, yeah, no. that's what that's what that's what we said, wasn't it? Last last week, that was the implication was, yeah, he would be. Well, but I guess then, if that better have him stuck here than than the gates open so, and hundreds of Elliot. Elliot, give me give me another religion check with advantage, please. I want to see something here. Better roll than that twenty, you noob. <laughs> His rolls have been phenomenal, by the way. Not phenomenal enough. Well, it's not a nat twenty, but it phenomenal. is a dirty twenty. So, <laughs> so Elliot, you, you oh, have no, no. this. It's a nineteen. I put a plus one on there by mistake somehow. Sorry. Okay, so it is. A, so it's a nineteen. Um, which is still a very, very, very... Like I said, Elliot's been rolling very, very well here during this this interaction, right? O only in-game. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elliot, you then, you, you then feel, as you're standing there watching this occur, right? And your, your eyes, your soul, your mind, your hearing, everything is interacting with these cogs, right? Interacting meaning taking it all, and you're seeing the cogs spin. You can hear them softly churning, 
it's near perfection, right? Or as close to perfection as you can comprehend. And you look up at, at, um, at the being behind the font. And for a second, it, it almost it looks like it has a, a realization of sorts. And it takes a step forward towards the font. And it looks directly at you and makes eye contact. Eye contact or goggle contact? <laughs> no, it's it's looking it's 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 looking directly at him. Ellie, before this time frame, nothing of any aspect of any of this has interacted directly with you. You've never felt a direct anything. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked as as, it, as he looks at me. I'm you know, I'm like, whoa, hang on, what's going on here? And I I I say. Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, I mean, right? What would you do, Hello. right? And as he looks at you, <laughs> a, 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 what are you talking about, Jim? I was just thinking of bloody, what's it called? You know, uh, you, you, neither of you two will know uh, Dave Lynch, Jack Bull, but there was uh, James May, wasn't there, on, uh, I'm pretty sure it was James May on uh, Top Gear. And there were these two birds one time, and he went up and looked, hello! <laughs> I don't know you should have like that, sorry. You derailed us for that, Jim. Yeah, I just... <laughs> Worth it. So, so Elliot... <laughs> So, um, so when you, when you look, when you, when you realize it's looking at you and you make direct eye contact, it's, it's hands, it's arms and hands open up, um, both to its hips and it looks at you and there's a very wry smile that comes across its face. Oh, I'm part of these wry bastards. No. And, and what I mean by that is one like you have this feeling of one finally did it one as in the spanish lab no not one not one I am Elliot. one is an o n e <laughs> when have we brought up anybody named juan in this campaign i yet? don't know but it could be now here's, like here's here's the, 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 the what is it the dusex machina juan shows up <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. We don't know. How many Spanish guys does it take to fix the light bulb? <laughs> One. <laughs> oh God! Here we go. The, the superiority of of of, of Jimmy comes out now. Sorry. Oh, oh, good bye. So, do, does the, uh, the 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 big lads say anything else, or does he just smile at me? No, he's 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 just he's he's looking at you. He's he's almost wondering what you're gonna do. I move towards him, and uh, I say hello again. Hello. Is it me? <laughs> <I'm looking for>? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 oh god! No, I see, Jim, you're you're corrupting me. So when when you have this image and and you 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 step forward, right, and you almost get the impression that you're you're as you walk. Obviously, you're moving there in your mind's eye. You're not, you know, you're still sitting at this desk, and Dadel, I'm sorry, Flargal is still sitting next to you. And you're moving towards it, and you're walking along the uh, the electromagnetic field, right? You're actually on top of it, and it it feels solid below your boots. And you move slowly towards the, and you 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 before this this interaction or this connection, you never would have even dreamed of of approaching what you consider to be the great font, right? It was just you thought you were having a vision, you now realize you've actually been brought to a different plane. And that plane has sailed. <laughs> My name, as the fellow doesn't respond to me, is Elliot the Nom. <laughs> I am... Plane 
just don't say all to me. I I am I am here with a request for help. I have encountered another of your kind, Night Demon, and he has acted poorly and you know threatened members, you know, of our of our planet. You know, he he has captive uh some humans and he says he's gonna call them. We're you know, at our wits end trying to save them and save any more harm that may befall our world as a result of Night Demon's further actions. Can you help us? So he looks at you very contemplative in a very in a very contemplative manner, right? And he, he again approaches the font and you look down at the font itself, right? You're about, we'll say you're about five feet from the font. The font's about the same height as you. Um, and he reaches into the font for the first time, right? Before this, it's always been power of some kind. And he reaches into the font and he grabs the cog that is the chief engineer, right? That is extended down below this font. And he pulls it back through the font. And he places it upon his chest. And from that point, you look down and you start to see all of the cogs are starting to very slowly slow down. Right there. You can tell it's, it, it's, it's very minute, but it is slowing exponentially. And he, 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 he looks at you and he points to the ring finger on your left hand. Yes, because on the right hand, you have the one from Night Demon. Oh, so it's the other hand, okay. Yeah, because you're on your right hand is the one from the Night Demon. He points to your finger on the left hand. I look at my finger. And on that finger now is a platinum ring that literally matches the black one, the black obsidian one that you saw from the night demon. And then he takes the cog from his chest again, puts it, forces it back through the font, places it back in its position, and then all of the cogs speed back up to speed. I do not understand. And in your in your um, in your mind's eye again, you then see an image of the temple where you first saw the night demon. I recoil a little from the memory of that place. So you see the very familiar deas, right? Where the blood was in the middle and the single throne. And you 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 can almost see Night Demon standing there, though he's not, right? In your image, in your memory, you see it. But he's not there. Neither are the sisters. Um, the, the blood splat that was Mola Ram is not there, though you can, in your memory, you can see exactly where it was. You okay there, Elliot? I'm glad I'm glad Jack Bull blinked. I thought it'd crash there. <laughs> Jimmy's sat there motionless, Elliot's motionless, Daniel's motionless. I'm like, is that disco just crashed? <laughs> well, I, 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 you know, t t t tell me more. Um, you know, I that, that that is the place where I encountered Night Demon. Yeah, that is the the problem that we are trying to solve. Solve. <laughs> So nothing more comes from him. He's, he's just staring. He's, I don't want to say staring at you like it's, you know, crazy stare. He's just, he's still looking at you. Hey, is this a direction? Should we return to that place? Is it a warning? Should we stay away from that place? 
Yes. And he, <laughs> and he kind of takes a couple of steps back mm -hmm. and he goes back to his contemplative look over the cogs themselves. Uh, okay, I, I, I think we're done here. So I, I, um, I, yeah, I attempt to sort of lose my grasp on this vision and return to reality. Step back to reality. So, Dadal, this whole time, right, it was, you saw, it was, it was weird, right? So, I'm sorry, Flargal. So, you saw, Elliot was speaking to you about what should we ask him? What should we ask it? What should we do? Where should my mind go here? And as soon as you got done answering his questions, he seemed to enter a, not a, like a soft trance for a second where his breathing ceased, his, his eye movement ceased, but it was only for a split second. And then... And then he blinks again and looks back at you again. And then, Elliot, you've returned now. Um, I full flogle in. Well, uh, let, let's go outside. So I beckon and flog. <laughs> no, kick his head in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I fill him in. Fill so him I in. Beck, but, I, but I beckon yeah, flog. That's, that's what you do when you fill someone in. You yeah. give him a kick. <laughs> Oh, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I heard that one before. I beckon. Hey, please don't do that. <laughs> you, you, you can fill him in, and then, for and, then, and, then he, and then he rimmed <laughs> to the oh, top. First words out of Demetrius' mouth. Did you curb stomp the goblin? <laughs> so I, I beckon Flagel stop outside, and we, we join the, the humans outside. Mm hmm and I, I pull them all in. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the on, on, are on, superior. I'm on, ready my Hancocks. <laughs> on what just happened, and I and I show them, oh, I assume that the ring in my vision is now... Yeah, it's it's solidly... Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, it's uncanny. It is, a, it is an exact match, save for the... Um, the metal that it's made out of. The one on your right finger you assume is obsidian or something very close to it. More of a rock, more of a stone. The one on your left hand is pure platinum. Yeah, so I, I show them the ring. I hold it up and show it to them. Um, <laughs> and Elliot's marrying everybody he meets. <laughs> and, uh, and then I say, well, so, you know, what now then? Well, like we were waiting for answers from you, Gnome. Like, I know. Yeah. I was waiting for answers from Chief Engineer. He's not All provided right. them. I, 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 I don't know what to do. Uh, the, we've got a ring, so the ring does something. Can we fight Night Demon with it, or can we? I don't know. We need to. Uh, we need to find. I mean, uh, like, from what I've heard from your, your mates, the, uh, <laughs> the chosen ones, or whatever they're called. Like, there's some war that we don't know about going on. Not my mates. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, your kind. So oh, going... now you're lumping them all in together. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's like, they, there's... They, they clearly differed between your kind and our kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, am I wrong? Like, yeah, am I wrong? But, like, honestly... I mean, we like... don't want to be part of this race war that they're fighting. Oh, God. Well, like, what is the war? Like, this is the thing. Like, is Night Demon, like... Is Night we... Demon part of the race war? Yeah, like, is, is that his thing? Like, is he even bothered about, like... Who, who... Like, no, why, like, so, why is he here? What does he want? And why, why, what are we doing? And what do we want? Like, I don't even know what we want, like... Um, not a race war. Dimitrov, I am completely lost at this point. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, why, what are we actually trying to achieve apart from save these three daughters? Well, that's all I'm bothered about, really. Right, yeah. you want to save, right, save the three daughters. Okay, that's good to know. And then... All this crazy shit's going around and around and around. He's like... It's gone mad. Us. It's gone mad. <laughs> like, yeah, the whole world has gone insane. It's like um, backwards on a pig... It, Backwards. On we the got page, these page random page. gnomes like jacking us and then giving our weapons back and asking us questions about what the priest wants or the librarian wants. Yeah. And then I... what? Like, what has the 
chief engineer actually said to you? He like he said loads of stuff about electromagnetic pulses. He, he didn't say much, really. He, show, he showed me this vision of the font that the, the, the electromagnetic field emanates from. He showed me the creation of the font by he... what I presume is an old god, and then the creation of the gnomes by the same old god, and then the creation of the chief engineer by this same old god. Right, then he so... interacted with me and gave me a ring and showed me a vision of the, the, the dais, the underground room where we found okay. the night demon. But he didn't actually tell you what he wanted, right? Or no, they're, they're very mystical, these people. They, are, they never give you a straight answer. And then do we know whether or not... Anyone really who, said anything at all. Do we, know, do we know, like, whether what he wants is technically the right path to go? Like, I know, like, for you it's different because... No, you're, I, but, you're I, yeah, no. Like, but as a human who now feels... Slightly not liked by the gnomes. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here, but... let's, no, back, yeah, let's back up I a second. Mean... Hold on, hold on, Dimitri. You guys had interactions with a very small group, of, and now all of a sudden you've attributed <laughs> that interaction I mean, to is every that single gnome. Is that not that true? Is that not true? Who's like, really the fascist here? They mentioned, felt, they mentioned a race war, and who's uh, side uh, that there is clearly you have to be on. One of two sides. They did and... not mention a race war. But they didn't even uh, say. Was, they did say. They did, they did mention two sides. And it I was don't implied know. that it's a race they were, war. They, they spoke about a war, but you guys are not. You guys, there's no other than the 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 normal, you know, interactions of warfare that Dimmy has has fought in small incursions. There's no great war going on in the world right now. No, but that like that's what they wanted to start, right? And he so said it's... right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that isn't what they wanted. But they, they were saying that after the war, they want the gnomes to be first, which means it's didn't. It, I know. I think I know what Jack Ball was going for. So it wasn't. It's oh yeah, yeah. Story. We should tell them that we can win them the war if they are the front line. If they're the what? <laughs> The front line, do you know what I mean? They got it makes sense, point. doesn't it? So you can put the smaller ones in front and then the tall ones can shoot. We'll, we'll, we'll put the gnomes in the choke point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get obliterated. <laughs> By a column fireball spell. Jesus. Um, I'm, I, like, honestly, right, out of character. I'm yes. lost. I'm yeah, lost. same, same. Me too. I guess, but, well, okay. right, the great thing this, for me is I've got an intelligence eight character, so it's fine that I'm lost. <laughs> right. So, like, we we must be we must be like creeping down to like nine days now, maybe like eight and a half. This is this when this day ends, it'll be the end of day eight. Okay. All oh, right. So we still got two days. Right. We would have two days. Yes. So chief engineer, nothing. Um, I mean, is it worth well, going ring. back? He, he gave us a ring. Uh, what does the ring do, Elliot? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you you kind of know, right? Because I, I you know, Daka being the great intelligent man that he is, looks at your ring, and I'm like, that's the same as the other one, and the other one let you talk to Night Demon. So does this mean we can go and talk to Physics? Oh, I mean, not wait, Physics. Who's, the who's, other one. Who's the Physics? Does this mean we can go and talk <laughs> yeah. to the other fella? Right, hang on. The unnamed physics. character that hang we've on, got no idea on. what now his I've name got is. An idea. Now I've got an idea. Like, so if the ring takes us to them, can the ring also bring them to us? And can we get Night Demon and Physics in the same room? Who are them and who are us? And... I don't Ooh. understand anymore. He's not yeah, physics, he's, he's as yet unnamed old god. <laughs> Presumed old god. <laughs> well, you guys well, why, why would Night Demon claim to have created the Master Engineer and then the Master Engineer deny that he was created? Like, no, he, no, said, no, he, said, he said the old gods created that. things. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah, he said the old gods were... Well, he, well, uh, he said, he... So Night Demon claimed that the old gods were around before our gods, and then the chief librarian, thats I know that's wrong, but I like saying chief librarian because it's a Warhammer 40k thing. The chief, the chief librarian said that, uh, the great librarian said that the old gods created the new gods, New right? gods. Yeah, yeah so it's not necessarily them. Night Demon, right? Not necessarily Night Demon. They, they, they said I, they thought, could be I, I thought the chief engineer was like the server of... Well, not the server, but I thought he was created by Night Demon. No, no, what? no, just the uh, old gods. And they said there could be, like, hundreds of old gods. So who created the Master Engineer, then? 
well, un- unnamed guy on the screen who you know may or may not be physics. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, what if what if he comes back? Like, and what is like? Because the portal's open, right? So any of them can come back at any point, or maybe we don't know. It might just be, it might just be Night Demon. Like, it might just be that sacrifice well, and stuff. Uh, 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 Night Demon uh, to cut through. Who knows? But then, like, so how do we send him back? And do we need to send him back? Send we him need to rescue the girls. And uh, hang on, but the gnomes came up to us and were like. What's our like? What's his position like? Mm, what a storm like? Coming. Or like? What if we try and figure out how to bring other gods back to count a night demon? Because we're or not like, going to fight a night demon, right? That's what I was thinking with um, unnamed character <laughs> that created the chief engineer and the gnomes. Did you ask him? Did you ask him to invite him back? Or I I tried to t- I said hello twice and he ignored me, but he gave me this vision and this ring, so. Maybe we can use, like you say, or was it Dagger? Like Dagger said, maybe we can use the ring to go and talk to him. You only said hello twice, and he gave you his ring. Wow, well, that's, that's that's pretty smooth, Elliot. <laughs> maybe, maybe we talk to like try try and use the ring to talk to him. I think that's what we do. Well, yeah. shall, we, let's, shall we do that then? I would, I would think it can't get any worse. <laughs> Um, We just got a gnomish race war, and you're telling me it can't get any worse. (laughs) Can it? Can it, guys? Can it it get any worse? Well, I mean, it can always get worse, right? What if this guy decides that all of his mates should come as well and stuff like that, isn't it? I mean, obviously, Night Demon doesn't seem a particularly good god. As far as gods go, you know, he's got a big skull and that. And generally, the people with skulls are the baddies. That's what I've learned being a, being a copper. Generally speaking. <laughs> generally speaking, the, the ones with the skulls are the baddies. <laughs> so, Elliot, is there... I'm trying not to give it all away, obviously, but is there anything that you would contemplate here? Is there... No, I ask now a character. Yeah, of course. If you were Elliot, what would you ask? <laughs> <laughs> well, so here's the thing, right? So, no, 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 no that's, okay. Here's here's what I'll allow. Here's what I'll allow, Dim. Now that's a good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Elliot, give me an intelligence check at advantage. Oh God, no. <laughs> no, because El- no, no, because here's what happened. I'm right? very intelligent. Yeah, in real life, in this game, no. fuck me. Like, what? No, I've, I've got... Where, and remember, my... Ellie, you get a plus two with this because of the um, Steel Birdie Kush. You've caused so many problems with the we can't kill sleeping people, we can't do this, we can't do that. Oh, yeah. no. You're like, the fucking naysayer of the group. Wait, well, you need, to, yeah. you need to rein yourself in because okay. you're the one who kept putting them to sleep so we couldn't kill them. <laughs> so, pl- so pl- hey, don't, don't. As, Don't then, bring me into this. And then I you went on strike by turning invisible what? and running <laughs> off. <laughs> Where's <laughs> <before the bus? laughs> inspiration on this new character sheet? Have you not made it the old character sheet, Elliot? Oh my no. god, does he need inspiration? What is he no, no, he's what? good. Oh, are you using roll? inspiration, Elliot? I don't know. I don't know if I have it because I don't know where it is. You oh, just said, I know you, you do. Roll? Did you roll an 11 with advantage? Oh my yeah. god. If you roll a 13, because remember, he gets a plus two. He's, but, he's, that's wait, so plus what? Two. Ca- but what no, that's, the, he... that's his normal plus two from his intelligence. Oh my so god. remember, with the Kush, he gets an additional plus two on wisdom and intelligence checks, and then he gets advantage on the others. I'm giving him advantage on this one as well. It's, it's the D&D so, 5e, tidy 5e sheet. That's the one you should have, Elliot. But I thought that's the one we were on, and then Jack will said go to the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, no, he did say go to the other one. Oh, yeah, I've go to the other one, yeah. Well, I've it's got okay, five, just, I've I know you have inspiration, I can let, fix let, it later. Let me try, okay. just for... So I just, I just, I, I'll re-roll. I can't see the dice, I'll just re-roll the lowest one. I don't have intelligence. No, no, you can, you, you just, just, uh, just re-roll a normal mm-hmm. one, and then if it comes out... You know, yeah. higher than, a, than an 11, then we know it beat it. Okay, see, so yeah. that, that's Dimitriov. Yeah. Well, you could have used that roll. I didn't roll the dice though. Stealing like, my didn't... dice, goddammit. They're not. They're yellow. Even Your Doc has scored better. Okay. There we go. There we go. So you get an Love eight. So you rolled an eighteen, Elliot. 
Uh, because there's a plus two from the Kush. Yeah. Okay, so you just had this interaction with what you per- pretend to be the old god equivalent patron of the gnomish peoples, right? Yeah. So you would not have been of your total mindset. There would have been some some drawback in you, right? You'd have been like, holy shit, right? Like you, you, you wouldn't go immediately into like perfect, you know, Elliot questioning memory. So you re- you realize that you didn't ask for any information regarding the quote unquote barrier that prevents the old gods from speaking to the to the to the I thought creation. I did. No, you didn't ask about the barrier. You had no, tried to. I, I asked what precipitated the the you know, the the, the cease of contact between the old gods and the the new gods. There's a difference between a barrier and a cease of contact, Elliot. Wasn't the... Okay. So you surmised that physics... We'll just call them physics. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you surmised that physics stopped putting his input into the font. Whatever that input was. Because you had asked... Oh, the I original didn't surmise input. anything. I, I was confused as heck. <laughs> right. So when, when physics ceased putting input into the font... He then put the giant cog into the font, remember? Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> and then that started to turn all of the, the, the quote-unquote gnomish people's cogs. Yeah. And then he stepped back. Yeah. So, hang on. So, like, are all these gnomes pawns, are they all, like... Are they without their own... Just cogs in a machine, Demetrio. Yeah, like, are they, like, completely driven by something outside of their own knowledge? Well, I mean, aren't, aren't we all? Maybe, well, yeah, probably. Yeah. Not me! <laughs> so, so, again, so you surmise, Elliot, that, that you for, you didn't really make mention of why, you know, you, 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 you asked essentially why did, why don't, what happened to the input that was being put into the font that connected them to the gnomish peoples. And in your mind, in your vision, you saw why your input ceased. Physics chose to make it stop. Is your connection to the, uh, the chief engineer still open, Elliot? I mean, I, I can go back in, can't I? And just hold up me cog again. Yeah, well, you could ask him about the barrier. I would ask him about the barrier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a good idea, okay. that guy. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> out of character as well, out of character. Like, has anyone read the first, like, chapter of The Hobbit? Yeah. Because yes. this, is, this is exactly what this whole D&D session has made me remember, is the first chapter I of don't the remember the chief engineer, or a font, or gnomes in The Hobbit. Me <laughs> Just neither. Lo- loads of points with no real understanding of what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Is, I can't. Is, I can't uh, give you all of the answers, Dimitriev. I, I think uh, I've point. I think I've painted uh, a somewhat simple aspect of, of 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 that gives you three or four different avenues that you guys can choose to go down. It's I gave you access to the great simple. librarian. Yeah, I gave you so access this to simple a, is like to a to to one of the major priests. I gave you access to a faction that is actively working on. <clears throat> excuse me that is actively working for, we'll call it, I'm not going to call it fascist yet, but is actively working for the promotion of the gnomish peoples and who brought up a war. I'm going to, I'm going to call this. And then I've given you access to physics. So there's four friggin' things. (laughs) I'm going to call this out of character. And I feel that you are upset with us for not talking to the gnomish faction long (laughs) enough. You've made no, it intentionally all. difficult. You guys chose, you guys <laughs> yeah. chose not to you just guys, solve this puzzle. <laughs> they they started a very direct line of questioning. No, no, they oh. really did not. They didn't. What was what 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 is the position of of the great librarian in the Great War? Yeah, we had no fucking clue. I don't even like, know. Like, I honestly, yeah. that is, that what would the next questions have been? Right. What is the great what? librarian didn't even mention the war. What's the next line of questions? What? What war? What? what exactly. What? <laughs> oh, what? Well, we didn't ask. We just told him to fuck off. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. 
hey, you know what? I asked for the one. Was a few times. I gave you. I gave you. Yeah, we asked for the one. Elliot's right. Ask no. him about the barrier and ask him about the war, please. I, I, ask him I about the barrier did, and the war. We might be able to save Jack Ball seven hours of prep. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Do you want to ask the chief engineer then, Elliot? All right. So uh, I go back into the room. I sit back at the desk. I, you know, I take my cog uh, in in hand, and I say, <laughs> "Too much information." Fuck's <laughs> sake! <laughs> no one's really got to about the barrier. Every single time I hear the word cog, <laughs> all I hear is cog. <laughs> Every single time. Do you know how many times you mentioned the word cog every stream? <laughs> Do you know how many times I flinch every stream? I never, oh actually, I never actually thought about that. To be honest. <laughs> I grasp my massive throbbing cog. <laughs> It's so many times. All of, all of the cogs are dancing brilliantly. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and you know how the small the smaller cog is moving faster than the bigger cog. <laughs> It's, it's I can see the light cog. glistening off my cog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cog minefield. Chief Engineer, can you describe the mechanism by which the old gods were prevented from interacting with our world? Yeah, you're not going to get a response on that one. See, see, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that one is so... See, okay, so see what it, I mean? It, it almost... <laughs> Okay, can you describe the exact kind of? That's you know, a very broad question, Elliot. Can the divide? Can the? Uh, um, can the? Can the system that prevents the old gods from interacting with our world be reactivated? That's a yes or no. Okay. Yeah. So, so the question has already been answered, Elliot, and I'm saying this out of character. Oh, really? <sighs> yes, because physics put a ring directly on your finger. So you're, you're instead of receiving an answer from the chief engineer, you are put back into your memory again. And you see physics reach into the font, grab the giant, <laughs> grab the giant platinum <laughs> throbbing cog, <laughs> pull, pull it out, pull, place it gingerly upon his chest. <laughs> and then he, he he pointed to your to your to your left ring or your left ring finger remember then he took the cog again placed it back into the into the font putting it back into its place where then the dance of the cog started up again <laughs> All right, so I, I I guess I conclude from this that we need to to use the ring, you know, ho however that's done. I, I don't know how we do that, but we should we should do that. So I I I go outside to the others and I and I say this to them. We we need to use the car, the ring flip to go to the to to the unnamed you know, NPC and and find out you know find out what's going on. So does anybody know how to make this ring work? <laughs> Look how the guy with all the answers has all the questions. I think well, you've I, got I... to stick your cog in it. <laughs> hey! It's <laughs> a cog ring. I take my ring and attempt to pass the cog. <laughs> <laughs> The me too, this seems to have had no effect. <laughs> 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 
Alright, can we can we take can we take another two minute break? I'm sorry. Sure, oh, Dimitri. Did, did, did Dimmy even see that? Oh my god, it was amazing, Dimmy. You missed it. Look. <laughs> okay, so you you try to remove the ring from your ring finger, and it's and it's on there firmly. It does not pass over the first what second knuckle, I think, is the lower one. Mm. Oh, um, Can you I say it? to Flaggle Snob, do you know anything about magic rings? Do you know how to activate it? What? I have a, I have a magic, <laughs> I have a magic ring. Do you know how to like make? I don't it? Now I know why we break Elliot every episode. He asks people stuff that he's paying attention to, and nobody else is paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to we need to find somebody then. Uh, like a magician. Are the magicians in no 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 region in Steelbury? Can we uh, can we find like magician's shop or something? Magician shop. <laughs> I don't know. Do you mean like wizards? Wizards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Ma a magician's Paul <laughs> Daniels. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, wizards on. like Gandalf. <laughs> Is there, is there any chance that this ring will activate when we're in front of Night Demon, or like... Maybe if we do some nice tricks, Night Demon will be here. <laughs> maybe, but yeah, may, maybe, do you feel, maybe. The vision I got was of Night Demon's lair, if you like, so maybe we just have to return there. But then the question is, how do I get the other ring to activate? The one on my right hand, the one that leads to Night Demon, how do I even make that work? Maybe this is like a Lord of the Rings thing, and we just throw the ring in the fire. Uh, um, my my hand is permanently attached <laughs> to, to the hands. ring. <laughs> Dimitri, I've got an axe. Have you read? Have you read Lord of the Rings? This is this is foreshadowing to where Elliot returns to the, to the squirrel form. We can we can buy it. We can buy it your finger off. Well, I don't think you have to bite it off. We could use something like slightly less uh, bacteria infected to the mouth. But but that's what Gollum does, doesn't he? Bites yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh he, he does. He does. <laughs> Elliot is ascending to the form of the squirrel. <laughs> He's gonna have no hands. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> God, when when Night Demon gave you that ring, did he tell you how to use it to speak to him? Uh, I don't think so. No, he said he could use it to return to him before the ten days had elapsed. But I didn't really see how. I've not attempted to do it, so I don't know. Mm. Don't know how it would work. Well, how would you do it? Well, that's the question. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to ask the machine? What? I go back into the room and I sit down. And I take, I take my cog out, and I say, "Chief Engineer, I'll take your flipping cog out." I say, "Chief Engineer, show us your cog, Elliot. Otherwise, I'm not going to let it happen." How, do, how do I activate this? These rings that have been given to me by these old gods. I'm going to say that there is, so there's a, there's, for the first time ever, there's a feeling of confusion from your connection with the chief engineer. A confusion that, that relays itself to you as not understanding the input. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, I, I, yeah, I, I back out. So I, I go to the other side. And say I, I, no, no help that. It was, a, it was a good try. I appreciate yeah, you uh, trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was, it was almost so. It, it felt very extra, extra gnomish, if you will. Like, yeah, it, it, the, there's something that that bond is is outside of the chief engineer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Any ideas, guys? Let's let's put our skulls together. Any ideas? What? I'm just talking to the boys. I'm talking to the party. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just, I was impersonating Daedal. <laughs> I mean, in general, how do you make magic rings go? Rub it. 
Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Okay. I so I I take the <laughs> my my right left left index uh, ring finger and I start rubbing the ring. Which one is this? The night demon one or is this, this is the, the... no? This is the uh, physics one. Okay. Okay. So can you describe how you rub it? <laughs> <laughs> this is way too good. <laughs> okay. So um, make sure you, you go like all one direction. You can't. You can't oh. like. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe I'm going to take the ring. You don't even have to rub it, Elliot. <laughs> you don't even have to rub it out, Elliot. <laughs> the minute that you touch your thumb and your and your pointing finger, your forefinger, so the and you're touching the platinum ring, correct? Correct. Okay. The minute you touch your forefinger and your thumb to it, the four of you are immediately teleported back to the room with the dais. Whoa. What? 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 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out my handcocks and I'm ready in action. <laughs> Obviously, I draw my hand crossbow. I'm like, what's going on? And prepare three arrows, Jim. Come on. And I'll prepare three uh, three bolts. Can, can you um? Can the um, I want to make sure just because of all the issues with the um, with the thing. Can you can you all see the map? Yep. Yep. All I can see is a river of worms in front of me. I cannot see anything beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> Puny right. human. Try and so Elliot, all of them. <laughs> Elliot, instantly, instantly, you you you. I mean, it's it's in a blink of an eye. The the the, the four of you reappear in front of this in this in this in this dea's room if you will oh shit there's three there's three chairs now there's only oh, one oh, wasn't shit. There? and immediately you see that there are now three stone thrones not one that is correct whoa and as we fade to black at the end of this episode here dimitriov's mind immediately goes to his man and the prisoner back in steelbury Oh, what the uh, Elon? E Elon and the prisoner. Yeah, the Who cultist. Left... Yeah, I know. Yeah, them. yeah, and the car. What happened to them? We didn't even ask him. Well, they're not. They're not here. So. Mm. Well, yeah, we left them, didn't we? And there's three, three seats. Mm. One thing is the girls. Say well, again, um, Elliot. I think they're big chairs, though. One, one for each of the, the captive uh, girls. One for each of the deities. One oh, for yeah. Night Demon, one for Physics, one for Noalius. Maybe. Oh, one for uh, one for the road, eh, chaps? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> we do know Noalius. Well, Flagel knows Noalius, doesn't he? And I think he told us about him. Yeah, he's the dragon one, right? Mm. Oh, dragon. is that Noalius, the dragon lord? Mm. Noalius is the the way that Daedal knows him so far as the father of dragons. He's not sure if he's an old god yet or not. Right. Can I do a perception but, check to see if Daedal's yeah, looking out of the he's, room? He's, he's honestly probably about 75% sure. It's more of just, he would have to be proved that he's not an old god more than he has to be proved that he is at this point. Mm. Right. Glorious. I've never felt that Five Idiots has felt like more an appropriate title than yeah. tonight's session. Yeah, I'm... I'm not going to lie, can, guys. Can someone, like, write me uh, what has happened over the last two episodes? Yeah, if, mate, if anyone, in chat, to... if anyone in chat has any ideas, please message me on Discord. <laughs> yes. It is Dimmy G. Please tell me what the flip is going on. I, I mean, they would, they would, no the idea. first words to you, Dimmy, would probably be somewhere on the lines of stop having interactions with people, calling them wankers and leaving. I never, I never but called them wankers. wankers. They were wankers. That was, that was Eddie Orton and Dado, like, for, for 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 the record, Elliot also thought that Faps was a wanker, even though he was he fighting did, on your yeah, side yeah. the whole he, time. He was a wanker. No, I thought he was quite. I thought he was quite. To be fair, Faps was a bit of a wanker. Yeah, I thought he was quite reasonable. Like given the context of the situation, these four assholes turn up on your doorstep and that you'd be you you know what I mean? Like you'd probably be a wanker as well if you're calling well, him a wanker. I, 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 I think quite, I think I some of the quite reasonably. some of the question is is. 
currently, and Elliot is starting to now, but currently nobody's looking for any answers. You're just expecting everybody to tell you everything. <laughs> right? So it's well, like, so there's like, some sad way that you, you're me like... And refuses to answer questions. Like, fuck me if I'm going to answer everything they ask. <laughs> well, that's all I'm saying is, right? So... And I'm not saying you guys are playing bad. That's not where I'm going. You know, I'm just, exactly. I'm just saying, you know, there's very few. You know, that is, yeah, that is what you're saying. And also, I, I would like to remind you that whenever we've questioned someone, they've asked, and they've replied in the exact same manner we replied when we were abducted now. So Yeah, but yeah, Dado, to be fair, that's human life, mate, as well. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like... He can't expect us to like not re respond the same way that he responds. Yeah, but you obviously. can't go to a job interview and when they say, "What would you do in this particular challenge?" You go, "Whoa, well, what would you do?" <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wanker sitting up there asking the fucking yeah, question. You tell me first. You've taken my answer, across my cross. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you fucking you wankers. I'm gonna cast a fireball at the bitch interviewing me. Anyway, that's I don't know anything about you. <laughs> Why I, what what I was do. your path here? <laughs> what was your pathing? That's what, that's what Sarah would ask in an interview. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking glorious! It was absolutely right? glorious. The, the man even the man even revealed his face to you, <laughs> in, in a sign of trust. Mm. But then he said that he wanted and then, to start and then, a race war. Oh, no, 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 no! We're not fucking. We're fine. We're good. Let him go. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for playing Elliot, Divi and Dirtle. Absolutely glorious. And of course, thank you so much, Jack Ball. Incredible. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.